Ratification took place 1920, August. She got elected in November. What she walked into was a room full of men. But she had waiting for her a whole state of women who were fighting for suffrage. Back in the 70s, uh, I started getting involved in the movement for the Equal Rights Amendment. The day it was up for a vote, we were all in the legislature, we were in the Senate gallery, and we watched 27, I think it was 27, white male senators defeat it. And someone in the gallery started yelling, vote them out. So the entire gallery started yelling, vote them out. And that was, that was the defining moment for me. Lillian's List organized. It found these progressive-minded women all across the state. People like Kay Hagan now in the Senate were getting elected to the state Senate. It's been an amazing story. Lillian's List changed the composition of the General Assembly. It brought strong, capable women to the General Assembly who were interested in equity and in fairness and in progress. They were able to make something huge out of nothing. We've gone from an idea to one of the most important political organizations in North Carolina. And I believe that Lillian's List is well positioned at this point to deal with the enormous setbacks we've had. 2010 was devastating for women's representation in the General Assembly, and it was devastating because it was a redistricting year. 40% of the Democratic women in the General Assembly were either double bunked or drawn into a district that they couldn't win in. And no other group of people was as drastically affected as Democratic women in the General Assembly. Women make up 52% of the population in North Carolina. We're 54% of the voters, yet we make up only 21% of the people serving in the General Assembly. Those statistics have got to change. Women are rising up because they realize what's at stake. Somebody has to be there that will stand up for women and stand up for children and families. If anybody's going to get this done, women are going to get this done. My goal is when I'm 100 years old that we don't need Lillian's List anymore. Well, if I've learned anything about politics, it's to take a long-term view. And in the long run, as people feel that they have the um, opportunity, the time, and the money to run, more women will run. One of the things that Lillian's List does better than anybody else in the state of North Carolina is to recruit progressive, pro-choice women to run for office. Well, you need a pipeline to get people ready to run. And that question, am I ready? Heck yes, most women out there are ready to go. We just ask that question way too often. All the studies show that women are more likely to think, why me? And men are likely to think, why not me? Um, so that's the challenge. Well, the idea of running for office for a lot of people is very scary. I mean, it's our job to go out and find women to run, but you, you can't just ask somebody to run and then not give them the tools to be successful. Lillian's List creates a, a sisterhood of support. We have training, we have access to the best consultants in the country. I mean, these trainings cover anything from finance to, you know, how to fundraise to your messaging. Nuts and bolts training, uh, as well as issues training, hiring the right staff. How much money do you have to raise? How do you raise money? They start at the groundwork and build you all the way up to winning on election day. And that's what Lillian's List does. I mean, we kind of take the fear factor away. It's all about the list. You can have a million candidates in the world, but if there aren't the women and the men at home who understand it's not enough to care, you have to write the check. And I will never forget the first time checking the mail and receiving financial contributions from women that I didn't even know and from all across the state. That's a real sisterhood. To feel that people from across the state cared about my campaign, wanted me to win, were willing to put their own dollars into that, was really, it was really overwhelming. You have to write the check because that woman needs your partnership. That early money is a partnership. There is a network that is organized, that is looking out for your interests, that cares and is investing in you. But Lillian's List is the only organization, it is the only one that is doing this just for women. 
there's a quality to the, the leadership of women that makes us a better state. It makes us a finer, more civilized, more caring state. It was quite a shock to me um, after becoming Secretary of State. People would bring their very shy eight, nine, ten-year-old daughters, and they'd sort of push them out in front of them, and they'd say, shake hands with Miss Marshall. She's a role model. I have to tell you, that almost brings tears to my eyes to realize what responsibility you have. But it also brings great joy to my soul to know that parents are encouraging their daughters to the highest level out there and hoping that something catches, that some spark turns them on. When young women can see leaders, female leaders, making a difference, Lillian's List brings that to the table because as we find and search for candidates and train them out there, we're training leaders. Not just candidates, we're training leaders. When the time comes, we will take back the General Assembly. We will take back the Governor's Mansion. I know we can do it. I know we're going to do it. I am 100% confident that with hard work, we'll get there. And I think that that's why I do this work, because it has to be possible for my daughters. My target is 50% of women in the legislature. Uh, it may be a while. Since 1998, we've doubled the number of women in the General Assembly. That's a huge, huge success. It would not have happened without Lillian's List. We are doing collectively what none of us could do individually. Last time out, we fielded 26 candidates, 16 of them got elected. Last year in 2012, Lillian's List and our members gave over a quarter of a million dollars to our featured candidates. So that's some real support. When you look at politics and it can be so disheartening sometimes, and then you meet a woman who you go, you would be perfect to lead because you could speak for me. The empowerment to watch women run and win and know that somewhere along the way, I was a part of that. There are going to be people who feel inspired to serve their country through public service. We're going to find them, we're going to ask them to run, and they're going to get there, but they're going to get there because we're here to support them. We win because the formula is sharp, it's narrow, it's precise, we've never moved off message. We're focused, we're knowledgeable, and we achieve results. That's Lillian's List.